Hi everyone, my name is Kush Patel and I'm a solutions architect at AWS. Today we're gonna go be go ahead and demoing Amazon DynamoDB streams to Amazon SNS. Before we get started, you should have access to the repository, which will include a README markdown file and then also a DynamoDB to SNS YAML file. If you have access to those resources in the repository, then you're pretty much good to go. The explanation for the workshop will be in the README file. So if you're more of a visual learner, then I recommend you to just stay on this video and follow the video rather than reading the README instructions. Today's agenda will be primarily discovering what we're creating and then seeing the architecture and then uh, deploying what we have in CloudFormation. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next slide. So over here we have the architecture which represents a high level of what we're essentially creating. In this demo, we're deploying a CloudFormation template, which is simplifying provisioning and management on AWS. You can create templates for the service or the application architectures, and you can have AWS CloudFormation use those templates for quick and reliable provisioning of the services or applications called stacks. Uh, in this situation, we're creating a stack that deploys uh, the services that we have here on the screen, Amazon DynamoDB, AWS Lambda, and Amazon SNS. Essentially, a DynamoDB uh, or Amazon DynamoDB is a NoSQL database service that we have. AWS Lambda is our event driven serverless computing platform. And then lastly, Amazon SNS is our notification service, which sends notifications between systems, microservices, and just event driven serverless applications. In our case, we have a serverless pattern. So this matches what we have here. In this serverless pattern, we'll be having an email or a notification being sent to you for each new item that is added to the DynamoDB table. So essentially we deploy these three services through our CloudFormation template, which is written in YAML. So the architecture enables these services to be deployed and then we'll go ahead and manually configure some things at the console to be set up uh, for the serverless pattern. So let's go ahead and get started. So I already downloaded the repository. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording and then come back to it, opened up in a code editor and a code editor we're gonna be using is uh, Visual Studio Code. You don't have to use Visual Studio Code. You can go ahead and use whatever you want um, as long as it's a code editor. So we went ahead and opened up a repository in Visual Studio Code, which includes two files, our readme file, which includes our steps. So if you wanna go ahead and follow this, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, and then we also have our YAML file. Our YAML file deploys the following resources that we have here. So our DynamoDB table with the specific properties. We also have our Lambda function. And then we also have our SNS topic and subscription. So as you can see, the endpoint here is at abcd at gmail.com. We don't want that. We want to change that to our own personal email. So change that to your own personal email. My personal email is kushpad at amazon.com. Please do not change it to kushpad at amazon.com because that is my email, not your email. So go ahead and change it to your own personal email that you have. So we're going to go ahead and have that here. We're going to go ahead and click command save or command S or control S depending on if you're on Windows or on Mac. And once that's saved, we're gonna go ahead and navigate to the AWS console. So I'm gonna go ahead and see you at the AWS console. So we're here at the AWS console and we're gonna go ahead and navigate to CloudFormation. So we can go here at the search bar and just type in CloudFormation. Let's go ahead and click on CloudFormation. We're gonna go ahead and click create stack over here. And we're gonna go ahead and upload our file that we have here. Now, this template that we have in CloudFormation or in YAML, sorry, is going to be on local. So on locally on our desktop or our computer. So we don't have an Amazon S3. So we're gonna go ahead and click uh, upload a template file and we're gonna upload it locally. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload the file and I'll come back to you guys. So right here, we have our DynamoDB to SNS YAML file. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click next. Just put a stack name. In this case, it doesn't really matter what the stack name is. We're just gonna name it DynamoDB to SNS and it really won't make a difference. Click next, uh, keep the default configurations, click next one more time. Scroll all the way down here. Make sure you click acknowledge and then go ahead and click submit. Now what's gonna happen here is that there's an event right here that is creating our stack and you can refresh it. It will show you what is being created here on the, on the right side and uh, what's in progress. So essentially, when it says create complete, that means it's completed, whatever the resource that we're creating. And then also here on the left side, when it says create complete for DynamoDB to SNS stack, what's gonna happen is that that's gonna say create complete. And you can go ahead and essentially just refresh your page and it'll tell you that uh, whatever 
I think it's taking a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and come back to you guys once the creation process is complete. So, so we're back here with DynamoDB to SNS and it says create complete. So our stack is fully completed. And the moment this is done, you should receive an email in your own personal email that you listed. So in my case, it was kushpad at amazon.com. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my email and then pull out the notification. And a notification should be sent uh, to SNS or from SNS, letting you know to verify your email. So next time a notification is sent, um, it will be sent properly and the verification process is done. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording and then come back with a notification on my screen. So I'm back here with the AWS notification. It should tell you that you have chosen to subscribe to this topic and it will give you the ARN, which stands for Amazon resource name. So whenever you are creating resources within um, you know, the console, typically they do have uh, an ARN associated with it. You can visibly see and we can go ahead and just copy and paste this ARN right here all the way to my SNS. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it. Before we go ahead and do that, let's just go ahead and click uh, confirm subscription. And it should tell you that the subscription, the subscription is confirmed. And we're going to go ahead and go back to uh, CloudFormation over here. And then now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Lambda. Go ahead and click Lambda. And then go to functions. If you're not already at functions, go and click functions. And then this is the Lambda function that was deployed uh, via our CloudFormation template. So go ahead and click that. And then go to the code section. So now this code section, uh, let's go ahead and click index.py, py for Python. And then you can see here that SNS ARN um, has, there's a, there's a text here. Let's go ahead and remove the text and replace that with the ARN that we have. So once we go ahead and do that, we can go ahead, instead of clicking save, you just go ahead and click deploy. So it's updated and it should tell you that it's successfully updated the function my lambda. Now we're going to go test this serverless pattern out. So we're going to go ahead and go to DynamoDB. And we're going to go ahead and go to tables. We have our table here that was created by our CloudFormation template. Go ahead and click on that. And then go ahead and click actions. We're going to go ahead and create item. And you can create any random item, one, two, three, four. And so five, six, seven, eight. And just go ahead and create an item. Now what's gonna happen is that once the item is created, it's gonna go to invoke our Lambda function automatically. And our Lambda function should be sending you an email that, hey, um, you have received a notification. So we're gonna go ahead and come back with our notification. So I went ahead and pulled up the AWS notification and it should tell you that, hi, you have just received data in your DynamoDB table. And this completes the serverless pattern that we went ahead and created. So essentially what we did here was that we deployed our CloudFormation template, which deployed our resources, our DynamoDB table, our Lambda function, and then also our SNS topic. We went ahead and verified our SNS email that we set in place, which was your own personal email. Once that was verified, we had to copy and paste the SNS ARN code or ARN name, I apologize. And we copied and pasted that to our Lambda function, which will uh, connect our Lambda function to our SNS topic and subscription. And the moment we went ahead and created an item uh, in our DynamoDB table, an email was sent to us with that notification that, hi, there is data in your DynamoDB table. So this essentially concludes what we have here for our serverless pattern. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I hope you learned something new in regarding to serverless patterns with Amazon DynamoDB to SNS.